is today is the day we get a ceramic coating on the Mustang. Pretty excited right now, not gonna lie. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and uh, right now, let's go grab some breakfast. All right, so we have arrived. Let's see what's up. Let's see if he's in here. Where he might not be. Uh -huh. Hey, Kishan. What's up, man? Pull her in? Not just yet. Okay. Alright, do you want me to leave it there? Just gonna make it sure that it's free. Alright. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna wash the car, right? Keishan, we're gonna let it air dry, you said? We're gonna let it air naturally air dry. Naturally air dry. For twenty four hours. For twenty four hours. That's that's after the phoning, right? That's after the phoning. Okay. But we're gonna let it we're gonna dry it when we wash it ourselves. Right, you have to. Yeah, so we're gonna, so we're gonna wash gonna, it, dry it. We're gonna wash it, we're gonna dry it, we're gonna clay bar the car, do any paint correction there that needs to be done as in polishing, and after that's done, then we can finally start the uh, ceramic coating. The ceramic coating, okay. All right, so um, we're gonna, do we wanna grab something maybe to throw on it or something? I don't know, just to demonstrate it before on the same car. Like you see, you see it slide off, I don't know if you have water or something. Ooh. There's a lot of pressure in there. Is that, oh, that's the foam can? Not the foam can, this is just the air. I use this on the interior when I'm doing door jabs, so I can get mm -hmm. a little bit more pressure. Gotcha. <laughs> I've surprisingly never used a foam can to wash my car. You can be the first one to try it out today. Foam can is not going to hurt your car's pain. I know. I want to try it. I just want to show like a demonstration of what it's going to be on the same car before and after. I think that'd help everybody. So, the thing you want to keep in mind is, I understand that it's, as soon as you get your ceramic coating, you want to test it out. Don't get water on it for the first 48. Really yeah. Don't, don't so, wash it for two weeks. Don't wash the car for two weeks. No. I, the manufacturer recommends 72 hours. I say two weeks because that's gonna make sure that it's completely bonded in there. That there's no chance. And, and it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be, <laughs> be difficult, I know, but what do no, you No, no, I'll, I'll do it. No, dude, I have no problem. As long as it looks good. So, with this just on there. Cause I'll show this now. See how it's not even rolling off? No, now dude. because it's got enough of a big puddle, now it'll roll off. So how long can I get the car wet for? 40, 48 hours. Yeah, don't get, uh, get wet. Yeah. After the 72 after seventy two hours, you can just walk, rinse it off with just water uh -huh. at a low pressure. Don't do high pressure. For how long? After how long? 72 hours. 72 hours. Rinse it off with low pressure. Just low pressure It's like a hose. Like, yeah, like a standard like water hose. hose. Just wash it off. Uh -huh. See, because that will also do your, you know, your, your test, your hydrophobic test. See if it's beating off. All right, so we're gonna get to washing it now. So, let's see how that goes. Yeah, and I, but I, what I was saying, if I do this, I'd rather clean and take care of cars that look like that. Oh yeah, it, it's way more just enjoyable because, on the car. It, yeah, it's more fun. Like that, yeah. you work on a car like that. Than, than to work on, a, on, let's I don't say, know, anything. You're, you know, just, this is an everyday sedan yeah. or, or or a minivan or. Yeah, I've had Honda Odysseys and Toyota Sienna's come in and I just like, oh wow, woo -hoo. Oh, great day. So I get fun. to clean this. No, I know. And then it happens. I mean, I hope people that have cars like Mustangs, Corvettes, you know, sports cars in general. I really want to get into the supercar market. Oh, that would be nice. And I, I really want to do it. But, you know, you also have to prove yourself. Yeah, before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do those. Supercar cars. market, yeah. yeah. The, the people don't mess around. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you know, like, I'm already a picky guy. I don't choose everyday chemicals. Like, I'm not going to go to, uh, I don't cheap out on chemicals. I could have easily gotten Chinese made shit and just garbage chemicals. But I chose not to do it. I could have easily gone to Harbor Freight. This is a Lake County polishing pad, finishing pad. Okay. This, this is probably oh, a 20, this is probably a twenty dollar polishing pad. It's pretty soft. Now this I just keep for demonstration. This is a six dollar the same pad from Harbor Freight. Now I could easily just go with this and be okay with it. But the difference is, 
that's more plush, more fluff. Yeah, you can feel it. And it's so much nicer. This feels like couch. Yeah. Not this, even, it just feels like shit. Yeah, so imagine this on your car's paint when it's going over, it's nice, yeah. soft, and it's gonna get This one's gonna maybe scratch it more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would suck. So, why would I wanna do that? No way. When, when I'm already doing a job, why am I gonna sacrifice $10 to fuck up a whole car? Yeah, I got you. So you dip one in the dirty, one in the clean. Yep, so this is our clean bucket because it has that nicer grate on it. Mm -hmm. This is our dirty bucket. Gotcha. You have to use a two-step when you're a detailer. Because yeah, because I mean everybody just you should, uh, washes everybody their should car. be doing a two-step yeah. bucket method. Because you have to have one clean bucket and one dirty bucket. And I'd always do grip guards on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or dirt trap, whatever you want to call it. Without it, you're just pulling dirt back up, scratching your car's paint even more. And then you're gonna get here, I'll show you on your car. Don't scratch my car. <laughs> he comes back, he comes back with a knife, starts starts gauging at it. Alright, see, this is a scratch. I'm like, thanks man. <laughs> I, uh, thanks. Appreciate it. I didn't see that one already. As you can see, these better inside, but here. I mean, your car is is pretty well capped. Brand new, and I never put it through a wash myself. Well, it touches can harm it too. Yeah. So I'm just trying to find a scratch. Well, I... That's not a scratch. It's just. Oh, you want to find a scratch? Yeah, I'm trying to find one. Um, swirls. I, I, you're gonna have swirls. And you're gonna get swirls through daily driving. I'm gonna also swirls through probably the the car wash has ever done it. You see how you get scratches right there. Um, they're micro scratches. It's yeah, it's very hard to see them. After you're done, you probably that, won't yeah. see anything. No, you won't. You're gonna have that. You're gonna have to flake the top even more. Yeah, because I mean, I the only times I probably would have got them is the dealership before I had the car washed it, yeah. and I bet you any money they probably washed. Uh, no, you, you have micro scratches that are very hard to see. It's more easy when you, in the sun. It's very hard it's to hard. see. Like, but with like a car, like let's say rusty, you can see it. Oh, dude, you can day. see it from here. Yeah, <laughs> see it from here. We have, we already have flakes in them. It's also even makes it hard, even harder to see it. But yeah. When you're in dark, when we pull it inside, I can show you. And yeah, then we'll look at. Actually it. see the scratches because after we wash it, it's definitely. There's like, no dirt on it. You can no actually. There's no dirt on it. There's nothing hiding it. Yep. It's gonna be clear as day what's wrong. with it. So you've probably seen this from multiple detailing videos or whatever. Whenever you have a tag, you have to remove that. Because mm -hmm. without a tag, just imagine this plastic scraping on that on that body. On paint, it's gonna yeah. scratch it. It's gonna cause scratching. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about it because now it's off of it. Okay, gotcha. The other one's just you put your hand in, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, that one I have. You already ripped it off? It doesn't come with tags because this is from a, this is from chemical guys and they're smart enough to know that. To you know, not put that in there? To, yeah, to not put that in there. Nice. It looks so fucking sexy like this. You should see this thing, dude. Oh, just dude, look at the front. It looks fucking beautiful. What are you doing right now, Keisha? Clay barring the car. Clay barring the car right now. Jesus. So, let's do that.
Mm -hmm. All the time. You're gonna do it every whatever companion deck it recommends. I think detailing is the same way, right? It's a car's paint. It's a car's aesthetic looks, but it's not only this, uh, a dirtier car is gonna have worse care. Because imagine if dirt's all over it, drag. the car is gonna drag. A nice smooth car is gonna have a lot much more airflow. I'll tell you the MPG I get when I go to Chicago. <laughs> I actually, last time, with if, okay, if I go 85 or 80, I get like 27, 26, or 27. Yeah. Actually, 27, I'd say better. But if I go like 75, I get 28 miles per gallon with this on the freeway. It's fucking good. Okay. Uh, now I gotta find so we're going to do the scratch removal, and then we're going to do the coating. I mean, the uh, scratch removal, then alcohol, mixed with the water, yeah. and then 50-50. And then we're gonna do then the we're ceramic, ceramic coating. Alrighty. So ceramic coating's done, we're gonna wait how long? 72 hours? 72 hours. 72 hours, and then I'm gonna come pick up the car. We're gonna throw some water on it. See what happens. Sounds good. Alright, so wait. What happened? Uh, huh? There's a fucking spider on it. Oh, you touched it? I clicked it and it just crashed it. Did well like a wipe or something. How did this happen? Try to flick oh, it. Oh no, it's just it's just dirt. No, it's just dirt. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. That's why I got this ceramic coating, right? Yeah. Alright, so I even almost broke my fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, ceramic coating's done. Uh, it's uh, 72 hours, of, not even 72. It's been like, I think more like 50 hours or over later, so before 72, but it says to not drive the car, let it drive for 24 to 72 hours and it should be fully functional. So, you know, we're pretty close to 72 So I decided to you know show you guys what the result is. So one of the many benefits is that now a lot of things kind of get Get like hit off from the car. So what happens is if um, My car gets hit by anything It just kind of bounces off. So let's let's check out some water real quick. I have a Gatorade bottle See how it just kind of beads and then goes down? You do the side of the car. See that? Beads off and goes down. And then when I drive it, it'll go away. So it doesn't accumulate. So Ivan, do you mind if I get your car wet? Do you mind if I get your car wet? No, that's okay. Okay. So this is an example. He doesn't have a coating, so you're good. See how the water stays up there? Doesn't bead. So that's one of the things that the ceramic coating does. Another thing is it, it makes a, a thin film over your car that protects the paint over time. And this one lasts three to five years depending on how well I take care of it, you know? Um, and I think it's pretty cool. So uh, the car does look a little darker than it did before, but not by much, you know? it's. It's really not noticeable unless you have certain light. But uh, I mean, I'd recommend it. You know, it's really good. Kishin did a great job. Um, you know, he's really good. I'm gonna put his website uh, in the description, and uh, you guys can go maybe talk to him, check it out. I think it's something that's worth doing for every Mustang or every car out there. You know, especially if you have a sports car. But every car really deserves a ceramic coating. So. Um, I know some people, some of my friends are gonna might do it, you know, just because, you know, it's uh, it's good for your car. But uh, I mean, I think it's really cool, you know. Let's use the rest of this water bottle. I'm gonna use the back here, where Ivan almost totaled my car. Yeah, the water just flies off. See? There you go. So that's pretty cool. I think it is. Now we'll drive it, so it'll dry off, which is sweet. So now when I wash my car. 
all I have to do is hose it down because the dirt's not gonna attach itself to the paint because it's uh, because the ceramic coating is smooth. So now when I just wash it, I just have to get the car wet and then just dry it off and that'll do most of the job. Or I can go get a really cheap touchless car wash that doesn't use any chemicals, maybe just it's just water or simple soap or I'd have to probably talk to them. But Or I can just wash it by hand and it, it'll look like it's brand new. So I think it's really cool. Saves uh, a lot of you know costs and car washes and washing your car and things like that. And then you don't have to wax your car anymore. It's good for 35 years. So, you know, I just figured I'd share this thing with you guys. So um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, share it. Thank you.